very much, Mr. Speaker. I am pleased to rise in the House today to support Bill C-66, an act to establish a procedure for expunging certain unjust convictions and to make related amendments to other acts. Today, I will be short and sweet because I believe that in this House we do have consensus where all parties do agree that it's important to move forward on this. Mr. Speaker, as I have noted prior, I had the opportunity to speak to Canadians from coast to coast to coast who are part of the LGBTQ2 community. More specifically, I held consultations with several groups and individuals regarding the national apology. From all of the conversations and research that I did, one of the key requests from this community throughout this process was the request to expunge the records of Canadians who had been charged under the Criminal Code. The request to destroy and remove these judicial records would provide individuals their freedom of having their criminal records that have been looming over them for activities gone. I had the opportunity to review this bill with a member from Charles de Labour, Ho Saint Charles, and from St. Albert Edmonton following its table. Like any bill, there will be questions to specific sections, but overall, I support the principle of this bill. When reviewing this section, the bill, Section 25 specifically, outlines the eligibility for an applicant, including the type of conviction, consent, and age requirements, things that I believe are all very important. I feel that this is perfectly in line and safeguards Canadians from being eligible for offences that are outside of this realm. The proposed schedule of offences would impact all Canadians, like including members of the LGBTQ2 community. This is extremely important as it covers the particulars of their offences. For Canadians who do not have a criminal record, it is sometimes hard to realize the negative impacts that an it has on an individual <laughs> and their different types of circumstances. Criminal records have an overwhelmingly negative impact on employment opportunities and opportunities for career advancement, for travel to the United States, or for immigration purposes. Canadians with a criminal record can be banned from even entering countries. Now, take into consideration that this group of Canadians that this legislation is targeting, targeting is no longer viewed as guilty of a criminal offence. How unfair would it be to allow them to still have a criminal record when we know that this is not a crime? It is a totally life-changing, and I believe that this legislation is doing that just part. As I've indicated, I've had the opportunity to speak to many Canadians on this, issue, on this issue. From all of my consultations, every group and individual made the request to have their records of this criminal convictions expunged. It is truly obvious what needs to be done here. As a, as a parliament, I believe that it's extremely important that legislation that we have front, in front of us is, is done, and it gives Canadians a way to move forward. I fully, fully support Bill C-66 and look forward to seeing this legis legislation passed in order to see those who do not deserve these criminal records so that they finally see some sort of peace. It's one step at a time, and I believe we are in the right direction. Thank you very much. Questions and comments? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the member opposite for, uh, for her work on this file, for the work that she's been doing to engage Canadians. I also want to thank her for uh, her unequivocal support uh, and for, uh, for helping us to, to move this forward in an expedited way because it's uh, really only because of all party cooperation that we're able to get this uh, done so quickly, uh, which is particularly appreciated uh, given the fact that there's so much happening as we wrap up and, and, and head towards the holidays. Um, I, I wonder if she has any, um, uh, if she has any thoughts around, um, uh, around expungement specifically uh, and, and how this might impact some of the people that she's um, sp been speaking to, uh, what this might mean to them if she has any stories as she's been holding those consultations that might help illuminate um, the power of what we're doing today. The Honourable Member for Elgin, Middlesex, London. I thank you very much. And for any of the viewers today, they're going to probably find that Parliament's not going to be as exciting as they want it to be because we are all on agreement here. The expansion of these records just opens up the freedom, the freedom for one to travel, the freedom for one to be able to have a job. You know, for instance, they're doing things that are not seen as crime, but, you know, when you go and apply for a job, it shows that they have a criminal record. And, you know, things that have been part in the past, it still shows up as a criminal record. So this expungement is extremely important. I'm not a legal guru, but I do understand the impact of, of this bill. And I understand that, you know, when you're talking to people who say, you know, I can't get a job, it shows that I have a criminal record for this. 
or I can't take my kids to Disney World. And we have to recognize that we have many families that just want to travel across the border. It may be for work, it may be for recreation, but they are excluded from travel. So this really just gives them another step towards having a life like every other Canadian should have, an equal life for all. So thank you very much. Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for South Okanagan, West Kootenai. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank my colleague for her uh, brief but uh, very heartfelt speech, and I'm very happy to hear that she's supporting this bill. As she and everyone else, I think, here knows, this, the NDP has been fighting uh, this cause for many years, and we are uh, happy that this bill has come forward at last, and we will obviously be supporting it. We're, we're also pressing that this bill be passed expeditiously so that it can go uh, through the House here before we rise uh, for the Christmas break. And I, I want to ask the, the member, uh, not only is she supporting this bill, but will the, the Conservatives be supporting it? And will they support that expeditious passing of the bill so that this, this can get done and help these people? Uh, the Honourable Member for Elgin Middlesex, London. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And it's because of colleagues from his NDP caucus that I actually have learned so much more. And I'd really like to thank the, the members from that caucus that I had the ability to work with. You know, for me, this has been life transforming because it really opens up a world of understanding and compassion. I, I, I've always been seen, I see myself as compassionate, but understanding more. Um, I think when we're looking at this bill, there is, I think, one particular section that when I uh, spoke to um, our Deputy Justice Critic, as well as our Shadow Minister for Public Safety. There was one section of the bill, but it's not specifically to do with the LGBTQ community. It's, it's how can that be expanded. I know that we want to see the rights of any person in this community to be equal, uh, to make sure that they have equal rights, to make sure that they don't have this looming over them. And so I believe as we move forward in committee, there will be that one little section we may have to look at but it's not going to be a negative impact to that community specifically. So thank you very much. We look forward to working with you on this.